In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up the goal metrics for Dynamics 365. The goal metrics allow the business to keep track of business objectives. For example, if sales are met, how many cases a user completes, or how many meetings or appointments have been met by the users. So there's three parts to the goals in Dynamics 365. There's the actual goal, the figure you just set up, the goal metric, which tells you how the goal figure is measured, and the roll-up field, which is the field the goal is measured on. We'll get started. To create a goal, you need to first go to sales up here and click on goals. As you can see, there's already a few goals already set up and we'll click on new. And we'll set up a goal for Alan. We'll call it Q4 goal for Alan. And we'll choose the goal owner, who's gonna be Alan. And we'll choose a manager and we'll keep that as Alan too. And we're also going to add the goal metric. And we already have some goal metrics set up, but for this video, we'll make a new one. So we'll click on look up more records and we'll click on new. And here we'll need to enter the name of the goal metric. And ours will call new revenue goal for Allen. And we'll use the metric type as amount and the amount type as money. And next we'll set up the roll up fields. And before we do that, we'll click on save real quick. And then we'll click into this field. And we'll go up here to roll up fields on the top menu. We'll click on that. And you can see once you click the roll up field menu, you have an option to add new roll up field. We'll go ahead and do that. And you'll be presented with the new roll-up field screen here. And we can choose which option we want to use. And we'll use actual money. And then we need to specify the source for the roll-up. And for this, we will select opportunity. And then we'll choose the source field as actual revenue. We'll choose that. And we can also go ahead and choose the source record type state. We'll set that as one. And the next step is to specify the date field. We'll use the opportunity again and we'll use the actual close date. And once you've entered all the information you need, we'll go ahead and click save and close. And the roll up field showed up right here under the goal metric. And you can also add multiple roll up fields to just make them just like you made this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and save and close the goal metrics. And you'll see the goal metric has now appeared here. We'll go ahead and choose that for Alan. 
And once you've done that, we can go and click save and close. And close this out. And as you can see, under the active goals now, you have the goal metric come up for Alan. Hopefully this was helpful. Until next time.